Finger is the perfect example of when a song comes together completely by accident. It's an organic sort of process when you have the right people in the room and you can play a piece of music uh, and everyone can just jump in and find a balance in the song uh, and know where you're trying to go. Um, I remember playing that guitar part for the verse for the first time and the, the bass just sunk in perfectly immediately and made this really somber dark groove that we didn't have anywhere else on the record uh, and then of course Heather just starts singing and the melody came to her um, and she had to work with it a little bit but ultimately the song came together structurally musically uh, immediately the lyrics had to come after that and I think the concept for the lyrics um, really is based around the idea of a weak leader, uh, someone who can metaphorically point the finger uh, to blame or to accuse or to make demands, but the finger shatters because there's no strength behind the leader, there's no will, you know, they don't have anyone's backs, they're not leading by example, that sort of thing. Uh, and from that idea came the title, Glass Finger. From there, once we had the name that we really loved, we had to change the whole song to incorporate this title that we liked so much. Because um, it was not, the lyric didn't exist. Um, so from there, what happened was, you know, to me, Glassfinger is reminiscent of, obviously, Goldfinger or a James Bond story. Uh, and so that gave me the opportunity to take some liberties uh, as far as the overall tone of the song and its construction. For example, to incorporate Glass Finger lyrically, uh, we have four part harmonies in the opening saying glass in repetition, as if, you know, it's the brass section of a big band. And the harmonies climb with each repetition. Um, things like that, things like adding uh, a horn section into the bridge in this big theatrical um, section of the song where, you know, you could see it easily in the opening of a James Bond film. 